today's electricians can enjoy a good life. They're in high demand. Successful electrical contracting companies compete to hire and train hardworking men and women. But not everyone is cut out to be an electrician. This video presents snapshots of successful electricians, what they do, where they work, and what they experience on the job. Basically, electricians can be divided into three categories, residential, commercial, and low voltage. Each is a specialty with its own training requirements, work locations, and tasks. Residential electricians primarily work on dwelling units that range from single-family homes to large multifamily complexes. Low voltage specialists focus mostly on voice, data, and video related systems and network wiring. It takes three years of classroom instruction and on-the-job training to become a residential or low voltage journeyman. Commercial electricians work on new construction, renovation, and repair projects in office buildings, retail establishments, schools, hospitals, industrial facilities, and the like. Becoming a commercial electrician typically includes five years of classroom instruction and on-the-job training. If you can handle it, then you're going to love it. The electrical trade is for active people who like to keep their hands, body, and mind busy. It's very hard. You know, the job is it's, it's not simple. It's not easy. You got hot weather, you got cold weather, you got heights, you got chemicals in the air. There's not an easy day on the job. Electricians can work in dirty, dusty, noisy locations. Your clothing and footwear must be appropriate for construction work, and you'll be required to wear a hard hat and safety glasses all the time you're on a job site. Other personal protective equipment must be worn for specific tasks. You'll spend a good amount of your time bending, reaching, and working on elevated equipment. Electricians should be comfortable at heights. Sometimes you'll work in confined spaces. These places aren't for everybody, especially if you never want to run into spiders or snakes. Tight work locations can include attics, crawl spaces, utility closets, underground vaults and trenches to name a few. On the other hand, some electricians work in clean rooms where every speck of dust needs to be controlled. People who succeed as electricians like variety, action, and can handle responsibility on the job. Electricians who've learned their trade and do their job well enjoy good pay and a sense of satisfaction that comes from doing what a lot of people simply could not do. You have to work real hard. And, and the, the work that you put into it, that's the, work, the reward that you get from it. My goal is, is to take everything that I learned from on the job and bring it back to WECA so I can complete each task that's given to me in the classroom and then take what I've learned in the classroom back out to the job and use it. Knowing that I'm being paid to be trained, well, how could you not be happy? It is a rewarding career that can last a lifetime. Employers always try to hire workers who will succeed. When economic times are good, nearly everybody can find a job. In slow times, though, the best workers enjoy the most stable employment and are most likely to enjoy opportunities for advancement. Electricians may not always work full time and should plan and budget for times when work is not available. Electricians have to be highly detailed, follow directions, and communicate effectively. Seems like an electrician is never far from climbing up or down a ladder. Like every piece of equipment or tool, ladders must be used properly. All apprentices need to purchase and maintain their own hand tools. It will cost you some money, and they require some of the best tools out there. You'll be required to wear your tool bags with appropriate tools for the job you're doing. These are the types of tools you'll be required to furnish. Most electricians get pretty familiar with shovels numerous times during their careers. Strenuous jobs abound on construction sites. Heavy materials and equipment can be installed during every phase of a project. Electricians typically bend conduit, pull wire, and connect equipment, lights, and outlets. Electricians need to enjoy working with their hands and have good hand-eye coordination. They must be able to see all colors, have good math skills, read and follow detailed blueprints correctly, and perform their work according to complex building codes. Becoming an electrician can make for a great life. 
You'll work with the latest technology, gain skills that are in high demand, and set yourself up for a rewarding career. When you try hard and practice on the job what you learn in class, you'll help assure you enjoy all the benefits of a successful career in the electrical profession. Turn on your career. Go WECA!